in Windows XP, which is what this is, this is not Vista, I'm using Vista wallpaper, um, it is very, very easy. It's always been super easy in XP to do dual screen. All I have to do is go to the properties and then go to settings and my monitors are right here. Uh, this one is a BenQ 20 inch monitor at 1680 by 1050 resolution and this one is a rather crappy 17 inch Sony uh, SDMS 73 analog VGA at 1280 by 1024 resolution so we have a DVI plugged into this one and we have a VGA plugged into this one uh, both going into the same video card and what I'm going to do is I wanted to see if I could actually get a dual screen setup to work in Sabian Linux and I did and I'll show you I'm going to stop this video here and then I'll show you what I was able to do okay for those that are a little confused right now yes it does stretch across both monitors and there seems to be a, a second window put here which shows it as a normal login screen I'm pretty sure I can change this I haven't bothered to do so yet okay there's screen one screen two as you see I'm moving my mouse across both startup sound should come around in just a moment there it is yeah alright now let's uh... let's try some applications out here so i'm going to launch a firefox browser okay launched on this monitor let me uh... move this over i'm still getting used to the way windows are done and by windows i mean application windows in um, Sabion, it's a little different than XP. So as you can see, I'm moving them across both monitors. If I do this, and the dual screen does work, the cube. I don't know what I, I call it a cube. I don't know what the technical name for it is. Now, uh, here's something that's actually kind of interesting that I found is I have a, uh, a DVD here. It'll take just a second to load. I found something that Sabion Linux can do that Windows definitely can't. Um, let me actually just get to the movie. This is just a, a regular Disney movie. Take me a second here. There we go. This is the uh, the caffeine player. Now, what's neat about this is that you know you can go full screen on either monitor. So if I bring it here or bring it there, I can go full screen. But you want to see something neat? Check this out. Let me just size this up a little bit. Now, Windows XP could definitely not do this. Is actually show the DVD on both monitors at the same time because if you use something like Cyberlink Power DVD 6 or 7 or whatever version it is when you move the picture from one screen to the other it, it blanks out so and also if I hover over the DVD down here it'll show a little miniature picture of the movie I don't know if you can really see that and something that's even cooler is when I do this see how the movie continues to run that's really cool and even if I go back like this the movie continues to run so far I am very impressed with this this is actually really cool and you can make the window wobble while the movie is running and it actually skews the picture along with the wobble that's really neat I thought that was really cool so what I can do is take this movie put it over here make it go full screen and then if I want to launch another application we'll just say Google Earth and here's Google Earth on the first monitor movie is playing in the second monitor and I'll just uh, look up Tampa Florida here
The animation is a little choppy, but that's Google Earth's fault. That's not Linux's fault. Go back to a window here. Uh, let me just minimize this movie. And I will unminimize. There we go. Google Earth and stretch it across both monitors, or at least try to. Uh, Google Earth is a very resource intensive app, so. Alright, let me resize that. Okay, so as you see, Google Earth is going across both monitors, and uh, if I search, uh, let's just say Los Angeles, California, you can see it is spanning across both. It's doing it very effectively. That's really cool. Uh, let me just resize this back to a single monitor here, or at least attempt to. Come on. Try that again. There we go. Uh, also, just as a for an eye candy thing, the screensavers, all of them, do double monitor very well. If I do this one called Atlantis, uh, you'll see. There's a little fish right there, and you should get in this area. You can barely oh, come on. Oh, there's one right there. It goes across both. Let me actually get a screensaver that really shows the, the dual monitor thing very well. Oh, here we go. Okay, as you can see, the screensaver goes across both monitors very well. I'm actually going to see if I can do some video editing and some DVD authoring on this operating system later, because so far it seems to do the dual screen just fine. I like that about this because Ubuntu had a big problem doing dual screen. It just, I tried to make it work and it didn't work, but Savion really worked. Uh, for those that are interested in how I got it to work, I have an NVIDIA card and you set this in the NVIDIA server settings, your X server display configuration. I don't know if you can really see that. Uh, actually, maybe I can make you see it. Just, uh, let me try something here. I was trying something called uh, screen zoom. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see if I can zoom that in closer. Ah, it really doesn't show up good on the webcam. You can do screen zooms, by the way, in Savion. It works out pretty well. So anyway, uh, I, I did this in the NVIDIA server settings. And you, I suggest logging in as a root user to do it so you save the configuration file proper. And then it, it works on each boot. And uh, my taskbars are proper. They're not on this one, and I didn't want them to be, which is great. Um, although I could if I wanted to. It works. So kudos to Sabian. Um, I'll post some more videos once I get testing some more stuff out. And uh, hopefully it will work out pretty well. Thanks for watching, guys.